YouTube, Duelist here coming in with another One Piece video, and in today's One Piece video, we are going to be taking a look at some new support coming out in OPO7, seeing all these new cards, all the cool things that basically have been announced over the last week and a bit since we did the last reveal video, and we're just going to be taking a look and seeing how good these new cards are going to be. So, without further ado, let's get into this, talk about them, discuss them, and just overall look at them because you know we want to see how good these cards are going to be we want to know how good these cards are going to be and taking a look at them now gives us an idea of what we want to see so let's go ahead and get into it and take a look at the new reveals since the last time we looked at them so starting off we have papa goo okay papa goo is um an interesting character to see what does he do so he is a green character two cost zero power okay animal type i mean he is a starfish and for some reason he learned how to talk english we're not getting into it he had a story behind it so yeah uh, and he's a 2k counter which is nice green could always do a 2k counters so it's very nice to see that and it has the ability while you have a kami character in play this character gains blocker okay so i don't think the card is terrible my issue with this card right now is that kami can't search it i'm pretty sure Kami only searches Fishman cards and Fishman Pirate cards. So this not being searchable via Kami is a little unfortunate. If it is, and it is like Fishman Pirates and Papagoo cards, which I don't think it is. It might be. I just I haven't read Kami in a hot minute. But I'm pretty sure it's just Fishman Pirate and Fishman type cards. But this not being searchable via that does make it a little unfortunate because there's no synergy there. But nonetheless, it is a 2k counter, so it does have its benefits. And if you play Kami, then you would probably play this as well, just in case. Oh, you have Kami, you have the 2k, you can play the 2k, you have the Kami on board. All of that nice stuff which could come up. So, not a great card, but not a terrible card right off the bat. Next, we have Glorissa, Elder Nyon. Okay, okay, we've got the Elder Nyon, some famous pirate from back in the day who was on a very special pirate crew. If you uh, guys know, you know. If you don't, don't spoil it. But let's go ahead and see what Glorissa does. She is a one cost, zero power, mm, Amazon Lily, 1k counter. Now, I don't like zero cost characters, just as a general thing, especially when they don't have even 2k counter. Like, a piece or something but i don't didn't like that piece at all to be honest but let's go ahead and see what it does to justify the zero power okay on play look at the top five cards from the top of your deck reveal up to one amazon lily or kuja pirate type card other than glorissa and add it to your hand then place the rest of the bomb of your deck okay okay so you can search two types of cards that's pretty decent searching two types of cards is decent but zero power i don't justify it Yes, she's an old lady. Yes, she's frail. But come on, she was one of the most powerful pirates of her age. And a former empress of Amazon Lily? You couldn't give her 1k power in her old age? Come on, I'm pretty sure she could still fight if she wanted to. But yeah, I guess we... It's it's not bad. Like, it generally, for like the Boa Hancock deck, this probably be used as a 4 of regardless. But I just don't like 1k power, 0k power cards. Like, it could have had at least 1k, right? It could have had at least 1k. But hey, you got to deal with it. You got to live with it. You Bo Hancock players, you got to search her. Be happy. Okay, what we got next? We got Ito no Zumu. Or <laughs> Ito Mino Zoo. Um, this is actually an interesting one to see. I didn't expect us to get the Foxy Pirate announcer so soon. And honestly, I want to know where the hell his bird is because he was, I, I could swore when he was in the Foxy Pirates, like, flying around the stage he was on like a big yellow bird or something where's that bird but <laughs> what does he do let's see so he's a free cost zero power mm, don't really like zero power characters but it's ability best make up for it foxy pirates 1k counter and has the ability that says activate once per turn if your leader has foxy pirates type and you do not have any other cards in play named itomozu add up to one rested don from your don deck okay so it's onigashima Foxy needed an Onigashima. With its leader ability, you're going to be negging free Don every turn, meaning when you hit 10, you would always be at a disadvantage. So this card existing means that you now have the ability to guarantee you are always on 8 Don, meaning you'll go back up to 10 Don. That's pretty good. And I do like how this is under 4K as well. So you can go ahead and get it with Porsche. So you can go ahead and play Porsche, Nega Don, look at top five, see this, get this, play this instantaneously, and then get that Don back. So 
it does have a lot of synergy and I do really like that, which is kind of cool. And Foxy Pirates did need an Onigashima card, so this is this is mandatory four of in the deck, I think. Do I like how you can only use one of it? Mm, I feel like it would be better if you could use at least two, but nonetheless, the announcer for the Foxy Pirates has the ability to ramp. That's the main thing. You need ramp. Purple needs it so bad. And this, this, this is good. If would I have liked it as a character? Probably not. I prefer it as like a stage, but not, not the worst. Not the worst. All right. What we got next? So we got Atlas. Okay, more Vegapunk support. You can easily tell which leader I'm most excited to try out when it gets put on the sim. Atlas. So it's a yellow character, five cost, six k power. So it's a five cost, so you can use the Vegapunk ability to play it for free, which is nice. And also it's six k power, so it's a beat stick. And she is like Raph, so. Like, she, she should have the ability to punch, right? Okay, so what does she do? So, if your leader... Oh, sorry. If your life is lower than your opponent's life, this card cannot be KO'd by battle. Okay, okay. She can't die very easily. That's nice. Vegapunk has two life. This ain't gonna be able to get KO'd by battle. Very nice. Do I wish she had the ability to not be KO'd by effects as well? Yes, but... You can't get everything. And, to be honest, she has been destroyed quite a few times in the manga if i remember correctly so <laughs> let's let's be honest here right but what is her trigger ability if your leader is vegapunk planes cup yep yep that's what we need that's what we need to see like luffy the other egghead type card that we've ever seen outside of the searcher um vega 2 i can't remember her name to save my life and this being able to trigger play this card means that you can just gain a life with Vegapunk. If your opponent hits you, you're playing this straight onto the board, getting you advantage. That's what I want to see from Vegapunk characters. I want to see the Vegapunk characters be trigger play this character. That's what I want to see. So hopefully we get more look at like Atlas here and the rest also have play this character. Because Luffy having KO character was good, but I want play this character. That's what I want to see. All right, what we got next? Next we have Kaku. Okay, Kaku, the CP0 version of him. And he is a black character, four cost, 5K. Okay, a little weaker than his original Kaku. But what does he do? CP0, 2K counter. Okay, okay, that little loss of power does do work good for him. And it's on play, you may place two cards with a type, including CP from your trash to the bottom of your deck. In any order, give up to one of your opponent's characters with three cost, well, neg three cost for the rest of the turn. Okay, okay, let me be frank, this card is okay at best, like with the new Luchi leader ability, yes it does make sense to have an ability that says put cards from the uh, CP to the bottom of your deck to essentially get rid of cost, but my issue with this card, my main issue is, it only negs three, and it's only on play. The fact that it's only on play means that you're wasting a 2k in your hand, which yes, isn't necessarily bad because you're getting a 5k body that can also decrease something by free. But let's be honest, with what we've got access to currently with the Rebecca and also the ability to just go ahead and play Hina from the trash, wouldn't you rather just do that than play Kaku? Getting a blocker and then also getting a 5k body that also decreases? Like... I feel like that's just overall better, so I feel like that's just kind of disappointing for Kaku. Like, you'd probably still play this because it is a 2k counter that's a body, but yeah, he's not terrible. I just feel like it's kind of disappointing that he has so, like, so many restrictions on him, essentially. Like, having the ability, well, just putting two cards at the bottom means that you already have to have the setup. It has to be late game, and yeah, with the leader ability of Luchi, it's not bad, but I just feel like he could have been better. I feel like he could have been better. Yeah, like especially with the original one. The original just killed a character. Like I felt like it was great, but this one is just like, mm, just I'm just not a fan. I'm just not a fan. But let's go on to the next one. Oh, we got Foxy himself now. Okay, what does Foxy himself do? Okay, so he's a purple character, seven cost, seven k power. Foxy Pirates on opponent's turn. If your leader has the Foxy Pirates type, all of your opponent's characters have neg one k power. Okay, okay, that's that's not bad. That's not bad, because it means that you're guaranteeing the decrease during your opponent's turn, meaning they have to waste more resources to hit you, and also hit your characters. And imagine having, like, four of these on the board, or even three. Like, you're decreasing all of your opponent's characters by at least 2k if you have two of these. Like, that's actually pretty decent. I don't think it's terrible at all. So, I like Foxy. I like I like that ability. It's not bad. But what does it else do? Because it's got another ability. Activate main once per turn, add up to one rested Dawn from your Dawn. 
Ooh. Ooh, okay. This deck has a couple of Onigashima abilities. All right, Foxy. <laughs> I, I hate to say this, I do, but Foxy might actually be decent. Like, not gonna lie, Foxy might be actually a pretty good deck going forward. Like, depending on what the rest of its support is, I might I might actually play Foxy. Like, this ain't bad. Like, I wish we got Buggy first, but this 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 is not a bad ability at all. Like, you get decrease on your opponent's turn, and then you also get the ability to ramp. Yeah, I can't I can't diss this. Like, continuous ramp with the ability to also rest your opponent's leader. Okay, we'll keep your opponent's leader and character rested. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Alright, we'll go. Please. Please be good. Trafalgar Law. Blue character. Four cost. 4k power. Oh, it's already weak. It's already weak. Okay. 4k power. Seven Wonders of the Sea. Okay, so it's when he just joined Luffy. Heart Pirates. 2k counter. Alright. Activate main. You re may return this character to its owner's hand. If your opponent has six or more cards in their hand, they place one card from the hand on the bottom of their deck. I mean, it's not, it's, it's not terrible. It's not awful, like, it, it's playable. But, they get to choose what card goes back. Why can't it be random? And it's already a 4k character. I don't know. It's it's technically Doflamingo support, so I don't know why I'm complaining. Like, having the ability to use the leader ability of Doflamingo, play a 2k, turn into your hand and get rid of a card from your opponent's hand is decent. Like, it's not a terrible thing. I just... I, I, I just really, really, really wish, like, it, it was, like, just random. Because I don't want my opponent choosing. I don't want them getting rid of a card that they don't care about, right? I just feel like it could have been better. Like, hell, even have that ability, but do it for, like, four cards in hand. Do it, make it, make it good, right? Make it good. But, hey, we'll deal with it. This is not bad. It's Dofi support, so um, I'm not going to complain too much. But, yeah, Trafalgar Law, Seven Wallows of the Sea, it could have been better. Ooh! Okay, so we got a new Uroj. All right, some new Bonnie searching cards. So it's a green character, four cost, 5k power, supernova, fallen monk, pirates, 1k counter. Okay, it has blocker. All right, not bad. End of your turn, set up to one of your dawn as active. Hmm, no. Nah. I mean, it works with the Bonnie leader, but um, I want supernovas that work with law and... Uh, no, nah, not, not, not forgiving. Not, not liking it. Not liking it. All right, next. Ooh. Oh, Baccarat. Okay, this is the lucky girl. This is, She ate the luck luck fruit, if I remember right. All right, so she's a red. This is OP07, free cost, 4K power, film, Grand Tessero, and she has 1K counter. Blocker, on opponent's attack, once per turn, you may trash one card from your hand, give it to one of your leaders or characters, 2K power during this battle. I mean... It's not terrible. It's essentially making every card in your hand once per turn a 2k counter. That's not bad. Like, I don't think the card's amazing. It having blocker is nice. Um, but it, it's just, it's not a bad card. It's not a bad card. I think it's okay. I think this is an okay card. Turning everything into a 2k counter is nice. Like, it's alright. It's alright. Oh, we got Lucy. Oh, we got Sabo Lucy. Okay, what does Sabo Lucy do? Because, like, he's got the Dragon Core and everything in that artwork. I saw it instantaneously. Plus, Luffy didn't look like that. That is um, Lucy Sabo Edition. Okay, so this is a 6 cost, 7k power, Dress Rosa Revolutionary Army. Okay, so this is going to be with the Kiros leader. So that's going to be interesting to see. And it's when attacking once per turn, you may put the top or bottom card of your life pile into your hand. Rest up to one of your opponent's 4 cost or less characters. Then, if your life total is 1 or less, place the top card of your deck onto the top of your life. So this is a character that, when attacking, gives you a life and can rest an opponent's character. Yeah, I'd say it's okay. Yeah, I'd say, I'd say this is actually a decent card. It, it's technically on the yellow curb. It gives you the ability to gain life. Like, it's not a bad card. Like, I feel like the me thing where you have to have, like, at least two life for this to constantly be giving you life is a little, 
mm, okay. But I think this is okay. I think this is all right. It could be better. And especially with the ability with Kuros where you have to like flip a life to go ahead and get the ability to KO something with zero cost, I believe. This works very well with that ability. So I feel like it's very useful when it comes to Kuros. All right, what do we have next? Okay, so we got Tanaka San. I believe this was another Tesoro card. Yeah, it's a Grand Tesoro card. So it's a red character, free cost, free K power, film slash Grand Tesoro, blocker, trigger, play this card. I mean, I could just play Kobe. Like the, the, the promo Kobe. The promo Kobe is essentially the same card. It's just not Grand Tesoro instead navy yeah uh, i feel like they're just trying to like get rid of the uta cards like they're trying to make it so they print them differently just because obviously the uta cards are kind of expensive so interesting and oh we got aladdin aladdin okay what does he do green character five cost 6k power fishman slash sun pirates blocker on ko if your leader has the fishman type summon a free cost or lower fishman or mermaid type character from your hand I mean, I like how we've got little koala on the artwork, but eh, it's it's like a worse Bluno. It's it's literally a worse Bluno in my personal opinion here. It's not terrible. It's just a five k, a five cost six k blocker, and it doesn't have counter. I feel like it should have had counter at least. That's that's my opinion on it. And oh, we got more boa leader support. Okay, so we got boa marigold. All right, let's see what the big sister does. Oh, little sister, I, can't, I actually can't remember what the sister brain kings are and stuff. So five cost, six k power. Kuja pirates, one k counter. On play, if you're if you have two or more characters in play, the Amazon Lily or Kuja pirate types place up to one two cost or less character on the bottom of its owner's deck. Okay, so essentially if you have like a Lily and a Kuja or both or one of these or two of each, then you get to put a two cost or less to the bottom of the deck. I mean, I don't like it. I don't think it's good, but um, it's there. It does something. Yeah, if like, <laughs> like what do what you want me to say? It just gets rid of a two cost or less and you have to have two other characters or you have to have at least one other character on the board when this ability happens because... Two cost is too low. I, I think two cost is too low. That's just my opinion. Like, it's just too low. Oh, Bo, Bo Sandra Zonia, though. Okay, okay. Everybody likes the snake girl, especially this one with the big head. <laughs> right. Blue character, free cost, free K power, Kuja Pirates, 2K counter. Okay, okay. And on play, if you have two or more characters in play with Amazon Lady or Kuja Pirates, return up to one free cost or less to its owner's hand. Again, that's just. It's just too low. Like. I feel like free is just too low and it's returning it to the hand so they can just use it again. I don't know. I feel like like any card that says return to the hand just feels kind of underwhelming. Like the, the, the best one is the 10 drop Kaido just because the 10 drop Kaido can return two, right? And you only play that in blue croc because blue croc makes it free. So I don't know. I, I feel like it's underwhelming. Like the Kuja Pirate cards, I get why they do what they do because they do these things purely so that you can get draws with your leader ability. But if the cost is so low on the ability to get rid of stuff, it's not going to really ever happen. It just feels kind of underwhelming seeing this kind of abilities. So it's just like, why would I play these cards when there's better blue cards that remove more things and I can still get draws, right? That's just like, that's just my full process right now. It's just, these are kind of underwhelming for the Boa leader. I feel like if maybe like the Merry Gold did, got rid of like a free cost, four cost to the bottom. I would say four cost is probably the minimum. And she has to have like maybe three, up to three Amazon Lily characters. I would say this is actually better. Like when it comes to Sandra Zonia, yeah, you got like low power. You got a 2k counter, which is nice, but you, you're really limited to free cost. Give me a five cost at least, right? Then that way I can deal with like queen blockers. I can deal with kid blockers. I can deal with these five cost blockers that are annoying. And yeah, it's like bad for your opponent and it makes it a bit too good because it's a free cost. But make it a four cost then. Make it a four cost with 4k power and has the ability to get rid of a five cost. Put it back in the hand. They can play it again. They can do things. Like, I just feel like these cards are kind of underwhelming. Like, if you just change them a bit, it's just like they're really underwhelming compared to like older cards. So it's, it's unfortunate. Okay, so it looks like we've got a new Hancock Secret Rare. It looks like an SP Boa. Yeah, it does look like the OSP Boa and Boa from OP01 with the power and also the counter. I'm curious what this is going to be, but 
We'll see. It's got a secret ability, apparently, so we don't know what this is just yet. And we got Salamin. Or Salamin? Salamin? I don't, I don't know how to pronounce his name, but he's Boa's Snake. What does he do? So, blue character, uh, 1k cost, 2k power, animal slash Kuja pirates. Okay, okay. Giving it the ability to be searched. That's what I like. That's what I like to see. 1k counter, your turn on play, up to one of your Boa Hancocks gain 2k power for the turn. I mean, you play it in the Bow Hancock deck, you play this, you give your Bow Leader 2k power, you go ahead and swing for a 7k. Not bad. Like, it's not incredibly good, but it gives, it does something useful. It does something useful, so I'm not going to complain. Oh, we have a Vince Smoke Sanji for the Judge deck. Or I should say the Raju deck. Let's see what this does. I hope it's actually something decent. Okay, so Purple Sanji, one cost, zero power. I mean, the little ones so far have been shown to transform into bigger ones. So hopefully good. Uh, Germa country slash Vincemo's family. Okay, so he actually has those typings. 1k counter, on play, neg one don. If your leader has the type Vincemo family, draw one card. Huh. I mean, I I guess with Raju, this technically says draw two cards. Because the leader ability of Raju says when you neg a don, you draw a card. But... I'm just not impressed. I'm not impressed. It's it's not terrible, but zero power, technically, canonically, that's true. He was the weakest one. He's just a kid. Like he wasn't augmented at this age because of like her mum's his mum suppressed it to keep his emotions. But it's just a little unfortunate, right? And ooh, a new jewelry bonnie. Okay, what does the jewelry bonnie do? Jewelry bonnie, green character, five cost, six K power, supernova bonnie pirates. The five cost green supernova, it's searchable via one cost bonnie. Do something good. 1k counter. On play, up to one of your opponent's rested characters or Don do not become active during their next refresh phase. Okay. I've got one issue. Just, just one issue with this card. Characters and Don. Yes. Love it. Love it. Now, my issue with this card, where's leader? If you're gonna make this card have the ability of a goddamn 10 cost for one character, why, oh why, can it not do the leader? Why can I not stop my opponent's leader? I feel like this card would have been great if this card just said rested character or leader now yes you can make your opponent play with nine don potentially stopping them from having the ability to kill you on the fullerton and yes you can also keep a 10 cost rested or anything along these things but what i want to see on this character is leader <laughs> so yeah it's not terrible it's decent Stopping characters from being refreshed or Don being refreshed is nice. But where's leader? <laughs> where's leader on the card? That's the only thing missing. I think it's decent. I think it's nice. Yes, I can use it in Trafalgar Law, which gives me some extra benefits. But I want leader on the card. This goddamn 12-year-old needs leader written on the card. Anyway. Let's continue on, see what else we got, and we, the final thing we see is just the Alt Art Bonnie Leader, with the ability that we already know is when an opponent attacks, pay one Don, and rest up to one of your opponent's leaders, or characters. So, yeah, the art looks kind of nice. It's the OPO4 style, which I didn't really like, but I, I like the artwork on this one. It's not terrible, and especially if the foiling's better, then I'll be happy with it. But nonetheless, guys, that's all the leaks that we currently have. We've got a new Alt Art Boa Leader. Uh, we've got the new Jewelry Bonnie uh, <laughs> artwork as well. And it's not Bonnie Leader. Uh, sorry, Boa Leader. It was the Bonnie Leader. We've got, like, all the searches for the Kujas. We've got, like, a new secret Boa reveal, which is nice. And... Yeah, lots of cards to talk about. I really do think some of them are nice, like this Lucy. Very good. I think this card could actually be seen play in like other decks, which is nice because it's technically it's a draw card that rests a character and gives you back the card in life. So it's like it's got a lot of benefits to it. Plus, it's a 7k, which is nice. You got Baccarat that sends you turns once per turn any card in your hand into a 2k. So that's also pretty good. You've got like the new lore. 
you got the new lore. The Foxy Pirate stuff, I think, is looking very, very nice. The Kaku is disappointing. Like, the CP stuff needs to get better, otherwise I'm not going to be very happy with it. The Vegapunk stuff, I need to see more. But so far, it's going off at a good point. And then Foxy just got a lot this time around with like a, a ramp and like well, two ramp cards and the ability to just decrease all of opponent's characters. But guys, that is all the new cards that have currently been revealed. I hope you did enjoy this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Absolute Duelist, signing out. Later all. <laughs>